السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر فیض الرحمٰن فرام پاکستان جمہوری اتحاد دس از اسپیسیفک سارٹ آف اے لیکچر یو کین سے فار ایجوکیٹڈ کلاس آف آور سوسائٹی آف آور پاکستانی سوسائٹی اے لیکچر فار ڈاکٹرس فار انجینئرس فار بیوروکریٹس فار آرم فورسز آفیسرز فار اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ دا لیکچر از دا ٹاپک آف دا لیکچر از What is institutionalized political party? Why do we need it? What sort of benefits an institutionalized political party can give to Pakistan? How the institutionalized political party can bring the upbringing of parliament, can bring the upbringing of democratic culture in Pakistan, can bring the upbringing of democratic norms and values in a society. You have to understand it. You have to because without the involvement of a educated class in politics in political affairs the political parties cannot grow the political parties cannot uh, cannot develop and they cannot go through the uh, evolutionary process unfortunately because of a law that uh, uh, government service government servants or public servants they they, they won't act, take part in political activities so the lot we had in the era of 60s and 70s and 50s we were only 5% or 10% educated people we had at that time they went into the government service so this a space behind them left in political parties where on the grassroots level educated people couldn't come and because of that uneducated people they join the political parties and a culture of a non democratic culture developed there at the same time the leadership of the political parties they were also not interested in a democratic culture because of their personal benefits so when a party is not democratic it's a big hurdle in a way for a political party to become a institutionalized institution so in pakistan all the major parties like uh, people's party or muslim league pmln or pakistan tehreek e insaf they are not the institutionalized political parties because of two reasons one that the lead, their top leadership was not interested to make it a institutionalized political party <clears throat> because if if the party becomes institutions then their their supremacy over the party uh, would be challenged and at the same time the workers in the uh, party didn't have that much uh, uh, sense or consciousness about political culture or democratic culture so they couldn't develop the pressure or or over their leadership to make the party institution now my dear pakistani i am talking to you logically please explain me please tell me you are aware of the rest of the world you know about the american democracy you know about the english democracy you know the essence the fragrance of democracy where in democracy a personality oriented party can bring a change can bring a revolution can bring uh, the true democratic norms in a society is it possible because that personality itself becomes a dictator within the party it's a question for you why don't you ask this question from yourself because this pakistan needs you even if you are retired because and there is one thing more when the pakistan jamhuri ittehad will come we will relax this law that public servants to some extent i mean they can write uh, blogs they can uh, articles in newspaper they can even participate in political uh, activities 
because we need it. We need educated people within the political parties. So we will develop such law that we will finish this hurdle completely that uh, taking part for a public servant in political party is a crime. No, it's no more a crime. When you vote, when you go for a vote, when you poll a vote, so you are a, you are taking part in the politics. Polling vote is a is a is a, a political uh, contribution. However, now the question comes: uh, Why do we need an institutionalized political party? An institutionalized political party is basically an institution where there are three major steps. It can be taken. Number one, we need to educate, to train our political workers. I mean, if a political worker who becomes a part of a local bodies doesn't know how to run our local bodies, what's the use of his contesting election? How will he bring uh, local bodies reforms? How will he will read a file? How will he read a project in a local bodies? The same thing is with the uh, provincial and the national assemblies and senate. If a political party is not a political worker is not educated or trained for legislation, how can he perform his role in assemblies? So the top, top of the most important job or duty of a political institution, a party-like institution is to train, is to educate its workers and then to send them for governance. At the same time, if a member parliament becomes a minister and if he doesn't know about the, the trade policies, the foreign policy, the defense policies, the economic policies, how will he run uh, his, uh, the party's governance? Number second point. This is the first point, training and education of political workers. The second thing, so that, that, that really opens a door for corruption, that the party, institutionalized political party, will support its candidate to contest election. That is very important, very important. I can, I, I will bring a, a point in your knowledge about that, the American president, in his tenure, a four-year tenure, two and a half years of his tenure, he spends in raising a party fund. Whereas our leadership, our political parties' heads, they are absolutely not interested in it. So, an institutionalized political party will have its own fund where we can bring a middle-class leadership. To move to parliament. The party will support them and that is only through a socialized political party. And the third thing is that the party, the socialized political party can check its governance. Now unfortunately what happens that the party head becomes prime minister, becomes chief executive of the government at the same time, he is party head, and at the same time, he is head in the parliament. So, a one person, being the nucleus of the party, is running, is having three posts. So, who will check him? How the party can check a, such a person? How the party can check its own governors? How the party can check its own prime minister, its ministers? So there are three major, major role of a of an institutionalized political party. Number one, training of political workers, education and training, political education about the departments, about the policies. <clears throat> the second, the second one is the um, uh, about the uh, the policies we make, bringing people. Education and the second is the uh, uh, making them to contest the uh, elections on the expenditures of the party, and the third important thing is the check of the party over its own uh, governance. So these are the three major steps would be taken by the socialist political party. 
such institutionalized political party can have a dialogues, can compete with other institutions uh, under the constitution, like judiciary, like military establishment, like bureaucracy. So what we need, parliament is a mother of all institutions. So we need to send higher, the most higher caliber people in uh, parliament. We need teachers, we need doctors, we need engineers, we need lawyers. We don't want uneducated people in our parliament because they cannot deliver. Now what's happening right now, this is happening in the parliament now. So they cannot deliver, they, they cannot deliver to the government. They cannot deliver to the people. I, I'm not going to the, um, uh, to the negative side of the current parliament, but I'm telling about the positive side of the parliament. The parliament can only become powerful if, if an institutionalized political party is sitting outside the parliament <clears throat> and giving such a stuff, such caliber of people to the parliament that they are that much capable this, that they, they can run the government. So I'm asking the educated class of the Pakistan, whoever you are and wherever you are, my brother Pakistani, my sister, my Pakistani sister, Please think about it. You cannot run this country solely on a, a one person. It's not possible. Even you cannot run a simple shop, a small shop by one person. How can you run a whole country of a 250 million population country, the second largest Islamic country, only by one person? We need a institutionalized political party. So Pakistan Jamuri Ittihad offers you, invites you to join us because we are the future of Pakistan. We think and we believe in it. And if, if we, if suppose, if you think that we are wrong, then tell us. If you think that we, we our belief is, is not uh, applicable, but it's, I'm not talking something, uh, something strange. This is already happening in America. This is already happening in, uh, in England. This is already happening in democratic societies. There's no constant leader, a person who makes a party and he's the head of the party or his family is the head of the party until death, till last moment of his life, he'll be running the political party. This is not a political party. You can call it a fan group. However, that was this was the today's message, and please keep me keep me uh, uh, yourself in touch with us, and we'll be in touch with you. Take care. Warmest regards on behalf of Pakistan Chamuri Ittehad. Bye bye.